Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars uh, reviewed ju just for you and my name is Jarvis and I am your friend. I'm so excited to be here because uh, as you know, I really did one on the mahogany and right now the FG9 and everybody is waiting in Asia has arrived in Singapore and I have the privilege of uh, handling both of them. I have two of them here, uh, the Rosewood as well as the Mahogany. There you go. And uh, right now I'm not gonna do a shootout, which I will do a shootout soon uh, with the uh, these two guitars and allow you to just listen and how does it sound. Even though there's one is Mahogany, one is the, the Indian Rosewood and then you decide which one is better. Okay, just to start off with, this is their new flagship FG9 that has been sold out across um, even the United States, across the world, right? So so if you can find one, I would say buy one right now because uh, this is one guitar that if I, if I have the chance, I will put it in my collection, right? Okay, just to tell you that uh, nobody paid me to say this, but this is a guitar that you should have in your collection even though it's a japanese made guitar but when you think about japanese you think about quality so let's get this review started what's the difference between this uh, japanese made and and the non-japanese made one is this fg9 comes with a an enderon deck spruce stop an enderon spruce stop generally has high velocity um Probably, if you brace it correctly, you have 30-40% uh, louder, but also the bass response is slightly deeper and also it has a very f is a fatter tone as compared to Sika Spruce or Engelmann or even German Spruce on this guitar. So what you have is the 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 Andron Spruce Stop is an X brace forward shift uh, and it's scallop bracing on the X brace as well as the two tone device are scallop. But there's one more extra that is being built in on this guitar is that parameters of this side here around one and a half inches are tapered down. So what you have is thing in terms of a snare drum where the tops where you can tighten the tops or loosen the tops and it, uh, it affects the, the when you hit the snare drum, the toms, the snare, snare drum, uh, it gives you the bite or less bite. Okay, so it, that's how uh, it works okay back at sides you have the good old indian rosewood but this indian rosewood uh the old growth indian rosewood so these are all uh darker shades looks a little bit like ebony but it tells you that it's not the lighter brown shades these are darker so it's old growth uh um indian rosewood that that this uh yamaha is using and at this point also as you can see there's a fg uh, inlay on this triangle the neck joint itself. Okay, the whole body is finished in nitro Nitro right and the whole body is finished by nitro and the necks be behind are not nitro but Polyurethane so it gives you because why not polyurethane on the necks because if it's polyurethane on the neck and You're using all playing and the sweat the grime and heat over time the necks on this back will wear out Okay, so that's why it's very smart to use polyurethane on this, which is the same uh, uh, formula that they use on the Collins guitar, except for one major brand guitar where they use nitro on the back, on the necks, and also the backs and tops. Okay, so they, they, they need to be some uh, changes listening to the voice of the customer. Okay, on the top, you have the... Um, an ebony, gloss ebony with the purfling lines across the parameters of the the headstock and the Gutor uh, SXN510 which is actually a black uh, Cosmo uh, tuners okay but the, the the good part of this is basically you can see is the Kumiki inlays that are done and these are normally done by by uh, this um, high-end makers that, that do do things like this because it's laborious and things like that. The other thing is the it's a boat on neck that is on this guitar, boat, two boats, and then they glue this this top. Okay. The weight of this guitar is uh, 2.13 kilograms. It's the same as the Mahogany. I don't know how they do it. Uh, and also the bridge, the bridge, this part is thinned down 
almost half compared to the normal uh, FG series. So uh, it's, a, it's also a, looks like a different bridge design. So it's to reduce the mass at least this side and there's a mass here to give you that vibration because remember your guitar, this part where the strings uh, is ele elevated here works as an air pump to pump to vibrate and pump whatever volume that is that's in this guitar. So, so, let, so let's listen to how it sounds. Uh, one three quarter neck width. Uh, you have uh, scale length twenty five three quarter on this guitar, and this is this one. super loud, super loud. But also listen to the depth and and on, on, and also the fatness of the the crispy the crisp trebles right on this guitar. So, so it's well made using the pick. Getting hot in this in this uh, room, man. With all the lights and but this guitar really makes me hot, man. Hot, man. Soon I'm gonna be a hot boy, right? Because of the guitar and <laughs> hot boy. <laughs>
want to apologize because I really went in and played this song a little bit different, a bit more expressive, you know, so that, uh, I mean, just, just a beautiful guitar, right? You can see I'm enjoying myself. beautiful sustain okay if you like this guitar this is the fg rosewood with the andrew on deck top 2.13 kilograms it's really light really uh well made nitro finish on the body polyurethane uh back that the satin finish boat on neck on this ebony bridge ebony fretboard lovely uh kumiki fingerboard uh inside is extremely smooth the sides here, the top of this Andron deck are all tapered down. I've already set it up. It's ready for sale anytime if you go down to Yamaha. If you like this review, just give me a, a, a thumbs up. And then also the the rosette and the the whole parameters of the top purflings. There's actually a rope, like a rope kind of uh, 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 type that is built in onto this guitar. Beautiful headstock is lovely done. Ebony uh, binding on this guitar with purfling lines on the top and the sides. If you like this review, give me a good thumbs up. If not, send this review also to your friends to 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 uh, um, just excite them, right? If you have a choice, play this guitar, and I'm sure 90%, and even in watching this video, you would agree this is an exceptionally well made guitar. Spectacular workmanship, seriously. Spectacular workmanship. It's not just the tone. Uh, but this is probably one of the, I would say, the best uh, Yamaha I've played, with exception to my Japanese made ones, right? Which is H. This is it comes out on the end on deck. It sounds H. It sounds played in. That means it, it, you really need a great luthier to bring this out. And I'm just thankful that we Yamaha just nailed it with art and science, right? Art and science to get this right. Okay, many years of uh, luthier. Uh, and guitar building. So, to my next review, you can say live with passion, play guitar, love, joy, peace, health to be multiplied in life. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.